Miss I have Mr. Albert Valley. Black, black. Why, uh, why? Ivor is getting up. The statistician, he needs five minutes more. Not to Eric. give Albert. Definitely, Albert is one of the stalwarts here in our community. Oh, these guys are crazy. Community. He has represented us in all way, all form that you can think about. He's a fighter for us. He's the one who's making this cricket. So the whole thing helping us to get grounds and making things happen here in New York City, more or less in the Queens Arena. Albert has been a wonderful, wonderful representative of our Guyanese community. And Albert, it was a pleasure to have you here, sir. And I'll definitely give you the right to, to share for you. Live, you know, it's okay? Yeah, yeah. Number one fan. Yeah, yeah, bomb. Big Sachin, yeah, boy. Sachin. Let's get out, bro. Yeah, bomb. Yeah, bomb. Chan, and, Chan, I will Chan. And JP Singh, who's now deceased. JP Singh. Brothers and sisters, let's give a warm round of applause also for the commentators. You had Onkar Singh come all the way from Schenectady. And you also had more. Onkar, from Pocono. Messenger of God from Philadelphia. So let's give them a warm round of applause yes. for being here today. Yeah. And they made the sacrifice to bring that wonderful commentary. And tell yourselves a warm round of applause for staying here for our culture. And for heritage. Cricket is what defines us as a nation. Cricket is what defines the whole Caribbean and the world. And yeah. the second largest sport. So when you can hold the World Cup of softball cricket, it is the most magnificent thing. And the day was great. The crowd was good. It's only the end. Let's understand this, brothers and sisters. When you play the game of cricket, there will be a winner and there will be a loser. And you can have no best to control the decision of the game. The game is bigger than all of us. The game is centuries old. So if you lose, you lose like big men. I play cricket and I lose like a big man. And you've got to understand that we've got to stop doing that. Where are we going to break up the game just to get the team comes on? Just to ensure that the money's not paid. We're not going to stand for that and I will tell you you're wrong. Now, 17 years ago, I had the distinction scoring the first 100 in softball cricket here in this tournament. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. And I got a high thing to you, made sure you had a seat at the table, Prophet. And now we're looking at four cricket downs. Because we deserve more. We deserve better schools, better resources, better health care. And cricket is certainly going to get a new life under my administration oh, as we yeah. try and work with others to get better grounds. And I'm sure they can stop off this road so we can park here for a period of time. Yeah, Abel, so Abel, rap on the house. So yeah, man. We get to park here yeah, and then rap the other ways. So we've yeah, got to yeah. talk to the right people, make sure we can make this happen. Make sure that we can stand together. As I can see, they've already seen that we are the largest growing segment in New York City. Please. We as Chinese, as Australians, have made it possible that we now have power. And power means a lot. And you know where that power comes from? That power comes from your vote. You must always vote and vote. Vote for the people that represent you. I'm not looking for a career. I'm not a professional politician. And I'm not going to live forever. But I want to live for my legacy. A legacy of hope. A legacy of pride. A legacy of attainment. And you can have a voice. You can have a voice in every sphere of life, including cricket. And God willing, that is what this is about. So I stand with Eric. I stand with Mr. Ferrier. He has been doing a lot. Let's make sure we always pay tribute to him. We always thank this man. He has stood up. He did it on his own. It is not easy for 17 years for a man to give his life and his energies. So please, brothers and sisters, let us get a warm round of applause for Eric and the New York Softball Association. Eric, yeah, God bless yeah. you, brother. And thank you very much. You have rose Fantastic. higher and higher. And even when people say, you're going to leave us, you still bring a better tournament. No matter what party you like to say you are. And for that, brother, we thank you very much.
In Jesus' name. Well, thank you very much, Albert. You have always been a stalwart in this community, and thank you very much for all those kind words. New York Softball Cricket League will continue to promote softball cricket, and I want, I want to emphasize, we have, we have teams all the way here from Canada. We have teams, they lead their family, they came here, they spend their, their here for, for five days straight. They had their, their holiday weekend in, in New York City, the Independence weekend for us here. We have our brothers from Guyana. Um, we, 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 they are here also for a couple of days here in New York with us. We have our brothers from Orlando, Florida. They are here with us today. We have our brothers from Schenectady. They are here with us in this tournament. And a number, a number of individuals from all over the softball group. Let's give them all a round of applause. Yes, sir. The Independence Cup 2022, I have to say, I stand here as the proud president of New York Softball Cricket League for so many reasons that we could once again organize and get the 2022 Independence Cup a successful. Let's give New York Softball Cricket League a round of applause. Yeah. We will continue to promote the game of softball cricket. We will continue to promote this wonderful game. And as I, I'm here, I would like to say thank you to all our umpires who have partake in this tournament and give their sacrifice and their time to make softball cricket successful. Let's give them a round of applause. And to all the sponsors, all those who work hard and make this event a success, it's been a long, long drawn out event. Not only today, it started, it started since the beginning of in January, where we started to plan this tournament and the way we're gonna make it happen and what we're gonna do and the way we will do it. Today, it's been a very, very successful tournament. As I said, we had over 4,000 people in the ground. And guess what? 3,998 were all guys. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. And that's why I say this softball cricket represents who we are as Guyanese. We've got to be proud of it. We must respect ourselves. We must respect the softball cricket. That is the only way we're going to get forward here in New York City. It's been a game that is promoted in Guyana, our motherland. It's been promoted very heavily there by these gentlemen that came from Guyana. Uh, I know Anil, my very good friend, is here with us. He's been captain in the Regal team. He came here to defend this title, and he did. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> New York Softball Cricket League, the defending champion in this tournament. And here, they came to this final. They fought hard. Uh, Andrew Gonzalez, we'll get to him. We'll get to the Kingsmen and their performance. But definitely, New York Softball Creek defending their title here today. You guys have fought a good fight. Let's give them a round of applause. And let me say this. We have started the over 45 the tournament here in New York. By public demand, we said we're going to go to the over 40 tournament. And today, New York Softball Cricket League stood tall and winning the over 40 tournament. I'll get to that just now, but let's give them a round of applause. So we go straight into the presentation. Straight into the presentation. And again, I want to say thank you very much to all our sponsors who have made this event possible. Thank you, Merv. Thank you, um, oh, Mr. Onkar Singh. I know you guys, Onkar came all the way from Skinnerity. 17 years you have been here with us. Every Independence Cup, Mar Siram came all the way from Pennsylvania to make sure that they covered this event, showed it live on, 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 on YouTube so that the world could have seen this softball cricket, what we are doing here in New York. But we move straight into the, uh, the Legend Tournament 2022. Yes, 
Yeah. In the Legend 2022 tournament, we had New York Softball Cricket League. We put two teams into this tournament because we had to match and make the numbers even. So let's give the two teams we put into this tournament a round of applause. We fought hard. We, one of us was eliminated before the playoff, but one of them went to the final. But in this category, New York Softball Cricket League won. Regal, my very good friend, Alan Alice Crew, all the way from Guyana. Marine legend from New Jersey. Kiapit Doctors here in New York. William Berg here in New York. The Muslim League, all the way from New Jersey. Orlando legend, and as I said, New York Softball Cricket League, number two. Eight teams participated in this tournament, and here we are today. We call on the runner-up to come forward and take the runner-up trophy. New York Softball Cricket League legend, can you come forward, a representative, and take the runner-up trophy? Hey. In our midst, we have Mr. Albert Ballew. Albert, can you make some presentation for us? Is Mr. Surin Saw here, Surin? Any representative? And we take the runner-up trophy. Let's give Ronald a round of applause. Let's give NYSCL a round of applause. And winning, winning the Legend Cup here, defending their title in fine style. I remember at Canarsie Park. I was told that the New York Southbound quickly defeated the Regal in the preliminary round. But then, when I talked to the Regal guys, they said, Eric, it's not done, it's not over. We gotta come and make sure we are in the final. And they represented themselves well. They came to the final here and showcased themselves as true champions of this softball cricket. Let's give the Regal a round of applause. DJ, let's get some music here. Champion. 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 Let's get a representative from the Regal Legend to come forward and take the winning trophy. Round of applause. Congratulations, Anil. Congratulations. Congratulations, Anil. And before you leave here, so you know, I'm going to ask you to say a few words. You know, I got to ask, I'm not asking you to sing a song tonight. I know you like to sing. You uh, sing so much time for us. But if you want to sing, you can also sing. Anil, it's a pleasure to have you here in New York, my friend. You've been an audience supporter of this softball game. I know you have made a lot of investment to see this sport grow from strength to strength in Guyana. I know you tour all over. You went to Canada. You went to Fort Lauderdale. You went to Orlando. You take your team all over the globe to represent softball cricket. You're a wonderful gentleman and congratulations for winning this tournament. Say a few words. Thank you very much, Eric, president of the uh, New York Softball Cricket League. It's definitely a pleasure to be here th this evening. First of all, I want to say thank you for having us here th uh, in New York uh, to participate in this tournament. Um, also, I want to give praise to God for this wonderful win. You know, I want to thank my players then, you know, uh, leaving their families back home and making it all the way here. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, we did exhibit good qualities, good playing qualities, that is. And we did show that we are true champions. Thank you very much. And we are not done. We are going to be back next year again, too. Um, I just want to... Um, 
you know, whenever we travel, I, I travel, we travel with our media manager. Yeah, media um, manager I will ask yeah. the media manager to say a few words to John Ram Singh. John Ram Singh, uh, 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 audience supporter and writer of this book. John, thank you for being here in New York, sir. I know you've been touring with the Regal team. You've seen them in pictures so many times. You've been capturing all the moments with them and writing about sports and cricket. You know, it's a pleasure to have you here in New York, sir. And we definitely would like you to say a few words. Is there anybody from Guyana? Regal from Guyana? Champions from Guyana? All right, so Eric, without a Regal team in the Independence Cup, you have a watered down Independence Cup. I'm just kidding. Thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you very much for having us. And we are representing Guyana. We represented Golden Hour Head. And as the only team from Guyana, traveling from Guyana, we can have a few Guyanese in the other teams. But as the only Guyana team, we want to say thank you very much for having us. And we are representing not just the Regal brand, but the entire Golden Hour Head. And for that, we are proud to be here. I'm proud to be ambassadors of our country. As you mentioned earlier, the motherland, the golden hour here. The president of our league mentioned that he's going to be back. Well, the chairman of our league mentioned he's going to be back next year. We may bring other teams, but we're coming to take the eagle. Thank you very much, sir.